You've probably heard terms like social networking, Facebook and Twitter quite a lot in the media. In this activity, we'll explain some of these terms and show you what all the fuss is about. An online social network refers to a website which you can join to meet people, make friends and also invite existing friends to join, just like the Shed Online. The common thread amongst many social networks is the ability to have an online profile, build up a list of friends and be able to communicate with these friends. Two of the most popular social networks around at the moment are Facebook and Twitter, which we'll be focusing on in this activity. Facebook is a website specifically designed to help you keep in touch with your friends and family. Once joining Facebook, you can create your own space or web page, which only people you've chosen to connect with can see. People you connect with on Facebook are called friends. These may be people you know or people that you are interested in, like celebrities or politicians. Adding a friend to your Facebook friends list can be likened to inviting them into your house to show them the photos you have on display on your walls and mantelpiece, home videos that you are playing on your TV, notes like those you leave on your fridge that reflect your thought or feeling for the day. Facebook calls this your status. Messages that are written in your guest book that others have left for you, for example, Happy Birthday John or Love the photo of your new car. Facebook calls this your timeline. Only your friends are allowed inside this house. There are settings in Facebook which allow you to choose who can see what. For example, you may decide that you don't want some people to read your guest book, or you might not let others inside the room that has photos on display. Facebook has become popular because it has made keeping in touch with people much easier. It has also helped people reconnect with others, like old school friends or past colleagues. You can connect with people of your past by using Facebook's search function. Once you've joined Facebook, you can search for others who have also joined Facebook. You might try looking for a long lost cousin or a friend from high school. Try searching for them to see if they appear in the search results. Facebook will return a name and photo in the search results. You won't be able to see any of their other details unless you've become Facebook friends with them. As well as people using Facebook, companies and organisations also use Facebook to promote their goods and services. Companies and organisations set up their Facebook accounts so that you don't have to be a friend to see inside their house. They're more like a shop or a public space. If you want to keep up to date with what a particular organisation is doing, you can choose to like or become friends with them and you will receive notifications whenever that organisation wants to communicate something like, we have a sale coming up or we have a new flavoured ice cream. The same goes for public figures or celebrities. For example, if there is a singer whose music you really like, by becoming a friend with them on Facebook, you could receive their announcements like, we have a new album out, or I have a show coming up in Perth in October. There are a few reasons why you might want to use Facebook. Stay in touch with friends. You might have a friend who has moved overseas, so it is hard to keep in contact with them. By becoming a friend with them in Facebook, you can easily see what they are up to by looking at their photo album. The regular status updates like, we've just had a new baby girl, or look at the photos of the canoe I've just built. People move house, update their email address and change their phone number. However, they don't usually change their Facebook account, so it is easier to stay in touch. Let others know what you're up to. Likewise, you can easily let friends know what's going on in your life by updating your status. For example, I'm now a proud grandfather for the second time. Or if you've taken photos at a recent get together that you want to share, add them to your photo album so that others can see them. Reconnect with friends. Find people from your past by using Facebook's search function. The search function allows you to search by name, the school that you went to and year you graduated, as well as workplace. You can look at your friends' friends. You might find out that you have a friend in common. Or look through the list of people that Facebook suggests that you might know based on your friends and groups you belong to. Organise events. Facebook has an events function, so you can easily organise get-togethers with your friends and family or even a high school reunion. Keep track of everyone's birthday. 
Facebook lets you know when people's birthdays are so that you can wish them a happy birthday. So that'll get you started on Facebook. Have a look at part two of our social network videos to find out about Twitter.